Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. Okay, so I wanted to talk about um, the relationship between uh, self-worth and net worth. Uh, it's one of the things that I was uh, writing about the other day, uh, talking about the fact that um, I think the two are very directly correlated. So uh, if you have uh, a very high self-confidence, you have a much better chance of creating a high net worth. Uh, I don't really know many people who um, have managed to amass a significant net worth uh, that don't have uh, similarly high uh, self-worth, self-esteem. You know, and about the only exception to that is actors and actresses that get paid for, you know, mostly being themselves. And they really don't have a product or service or a business. Uh, they have themselves. They're, they are who they are and they portray that. And most... Um, you know, most actors and actresses and musical artists and things like that aren't very happy people. You know, you think about the high rate of suicide and you think of all the other problems that they run into. They really aren't, on, on the average, very happy people. So I think that that's uh, something that we have to keep in mind uh, when looking at this as well. But I'm talking about entrepreneurs. I'm talking about from a, uh, if you want to start a business in this country and you want it to be successful... Uh, one of the things that you have to do in order to be successful is you have to have very high level of confidence in yourself and in your product and your services. And you have to have uh, some self-esteem. You have to carry yourself well. You have to uh, dress well. <laughs> dress well today. I'm in a, in a T-shirt. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I've, I've found that when you start, you know, dressing up and, and uh, you know, looking like you, you know, make a million dollars, that you start making millions of dollars. Because that confidence and the, you know, you always dress for the job that you want rather than the job that you have. And so I've just found that over the years uh, that uh, if you develop um, very high self-worth over the course of, uh, as you get older, and most people in their Teens are really insecure. Uh, in their 20s, they're a little more secure, but they're still, you know, finding themselves. Uh, most of the really successful people who've had success in their late 20s and early 30s have a really high self-worth. They they have a high self-esteem. They they think the world of themselves, uh, whether anybody else thinks the world of them or not. So uh, I think that's a really important thing. But understand that uh, it is very difficult if you are selling a product or a service to generate a business that uh, has uh, any significant uh, wealth building potential if you don't have uh, you know, any confidence in yourself. And I think that's a very important factor. So again, uh, self-worth equals net worth. And I think that's an important uh, thing to understand. If you want to work on being successful, you should work on yourself. Uh, you know, work on the self-help things. You know, I recommended a bunch of business books on my Quora blog and on my videos uh, here on YouTube. Uh, and uh, I recommended the top 40 books. Uh, none of them are self-help books. And I think it's important that people look for a number of different uh, categories in order to be able to improve themselves. Uh, and I think that one of the various areas to do is for sure... Uh, investing in your in your own self-development. Now, I actually like that. I think that uh, if you can become more confident in yourself and, and, and build your self-esteem, uh, then uh, I think you have a much better chance of being successful. So that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be making a couple of videos today. I haven't uploaded in a while. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you soon.